Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sheridan and today we are going to be doing a quick sequence to lower and calm your nerves. So if you haven't already downloaded the PDF that goes with this class, you can get it in the comments. It has a little bit more into the background of why we are doing these postures and exercises as well as instructions so you can do them by yourself and links to two of my playlists to accompany you. So we're just going to get into it by moving all your hands. We're just going to shake everything out, moving your hands around, adding your elbows, maybe move them side to side. This might be really small and this might be a little bit more chaotic and holding your shoulders, whatever feels best today. Imagine you're shaking off everything that has got you nervous. Imagine you're shaking off anything that you don't need. Maybe add in an exhale as you shake. You can make any sounds that feel good. And then just lowering your hands down to your knees. Palms can be facing down or facing up. Notice where you fall most naturally today. And begin to notice how your body feels right now. Slightly open your lips as if you're pursing them to blow through a straw. And all together we'll inhale to the count of four. So inhaling, one, two, three, four, and exhaling to six, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale to four, one, two, three, four, exhale six, five, four, three, one at your own pace you don't want to force yourself but we do want the exhale to be longer than the inhale maybe take your count up to eight or even ten as you exhale Relaxing your brow, relaxing your jaw, your eyes can be gazing down or eyes closed. Feel your chest rise as you breathe and lower as you exhale. So we're going to begin to make these inhales and exhales more even by inhaling to four, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, Three, two, one. Continue this way, inhaling from the very base of your spine to the top of your head. And exhaling, crown of your head down all the way, emptying out through the base. And then we will take the chant of Om one time together. You're welcome to join me. We'll inhale. And if you 
close your eyes, just flatten them open. We're going to come to a tabletop position. So your feet, your knees are beneath your, beneath your hips and your hands beneath your shoulders. Fingers are wide spread. We're going to inhale, open the chest, lift the tailbone up, drop the belly button. Exhale, arch the back, pull the belly button up, button up, push through the hands, find space in the shoulder blades. Two more rounds, inhale. Expand, moving through the spine. And exhale. It's really fantastic to move the spine this way. Every day, just a little bit. Inhale, open, expand through the chest, towel button lifts. And then exhale, arching your back, really push through the hands, moving with the breath. Now, child's pose, you can take your knees as wide as the mat, big toes come together, heels, lower back, arms reach forward. Lower your forehead down to the mat. Resting here, this is something that you can do at any point during the class, you can always come back to it. It's also something that you can do at any point during the day. Just this pose for a couple of minutes is really restorative. Maybe your hands beneath your forehead, if that feels better right now. For me, it's pretty early in the morning and it does. Breathing into your back body. Relax your jaw. Things don't go as planned, and the neighbor starts making music, playing music, we continue. So we'll extend out forward, bring your knees in, and just slow down through your body. You're lowering your belly down onto the mat. So we're just gonna place your hands on your, your hands on the mat below your forehead, and then your forehead's lowering down to your hands. Your feet are as wide as the mat, or maybe a little bit towards each other, it doesn't really matter. The closer your feet are, the more intense it will feel on the lower back. You choose your option. So when I first realized that this was yoga pose, I was pretty excited because I love this pose and I just thought that it was my crisis pose. So to come out of it, just pull your belly button up, place, slide your hands below your shoulders, push up, tuck your toes into tabletop and then into downward facing dog. You might need to place your hands about one handprint in front and here your knees are bent and you're pushing your spine back, you're elevating through your spine, pushing your chest back through to your thighs. Your heels are directly behind your toes. First down with dog of the day, so take it easy, maybe bend into the left knee and stretch out through to the right. Bend into the right knee, stretch out through to the left. Doing that a couple of times. And then take your hand, your legs back to neutral. Push through the hands, wrap the triceps under and look back at the back of your mat. Shake your head as if you're saying yes. And then as if you're saying no. Okay. Now we'll walk the feet to the front of the mat, little steps, knees nice and bent. Hands to your shins, inhale, half lift, straight back. Exhale, folding forward, knees still bent. Take your time. Vertebrae, right, vertebrae, lift yourself all the way up. Stretching up to the sky. Hands lift, palms face towards each other. Then exhale, hands by your hips. Amazing. Coming into tree pose, you can stay where you are, come to face you. Hook your eyes on a place in front of you that is not moving. Tailbone tucks, lower ribs pull in. 
You can place your hands on your hips. We're going to place all of the weight into the left foot and then just lift your right foot up, placing the foot or at your calf or at your inner thigh, whatever feels best. Just make sure that it's not on top of the knee. Your hips square to the front of the mat. Your right knee pushes out. Hands can stay at your hips. They can come to your heart or they can extend above. Choose your variation of tree pose. All of your gaze on one position. Belly button pulls in, shoulders away from your ears. Finding your stability, finding your focus. Even when everything around you keeps moving, how can you be the calm in the middle of the storm. Lower down your right leg. Inhale, lift your left up. We'll place the sole of the left foot on the inner right leg. Good work. Steady gaze, shoulders away, take that same variation. If you're looking for a challenge, you might try to close your eyes. Strong leg, strong right leg, keeping that base. Keep with your breathing, we lower the left leg down, hands come to your hips, Tadasana. Fantastic. Now for our last pose, we're gonna grab the mat, we're gonna place it against the wall. So the short end of your mat is with the wall. And then we're just going to lower it down. You're going to sit down with your right hip up against the wall. You're looking towards one side. And then using your, sorry, yeah, your left hip. It can be your right if you want. I'm going to use my left hip and I'm going to place my right hand behind me. Left hand follows. Then I'm going to swing my legs up the wall. And my hips come to face the wall. Once I'm here, I just kind of shimmy around. Finding the position that feels best for me. So the closer my hips are to the wall, the more intense this is for the hamstrings. They can be further away. Your knees can be totally straight or you can be bent. You will be looking towards the wall. I'm just looking to you for this part. Place your palms out. And let's just lay here for a couple of minutes. Legs up the wall. This is an amazing pose to lower your blood pressure. It's an amazing pose for the thyroid, for the endocrine system, regulating all of those hormones that affect your brain, affect your thoughts, and affect your mood. And what we're doing when we are calming our nervous system is we're actually moving from the sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight and fright, flight nervous system over to the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the nervous system that is sometimes called rest and digest. It is the nervous system that allows us to relax. Stay here for a few more moments. Just noticing your breath. This is your little mini version of Shavasana. And it's how your feet become weightless.
can stay here for as long as you want, but if you're ready to come out, just bend your knees, lower them back down to one side, and then using your hands, lift yourself all the way up. Coming to the seated position on your mat, maybe kneeling, maybe in some person or easy pose with your legs crossed. Just placing your palms down, maybe your palms face up this time. And to close the class, we would just chant one on together. Take your hands to heart center. Back is straight. Inhale. Let me know if that had any effects on you. Let me know how you're feeling right now. Send me a message in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else that you would love to see. Um, there are any other ways that I can support you. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe with that little button. And yeah, I will be seeing you soon for more new videos.